What's up guys, John here with AccessoryGeeks.com. It is a good day to be on T-Mobile. Um, today we had the release of the MyTouch 4G, so I wanted to give you guys a quick benchmark pitting it against the T-Mobile G2. Now, um, these phones are going to be probably the two you're going to be considering if you're um, going to pick up a new phone, and the only difference being that the G2 does have a keyboard while the MyTouch does not. Um, processing power is going to be a little different as well. The MyTouch uses the second gen 1 GHz Snapdragon, while the T-Mobile G2 uses the 800 MHz Scorpion. But enough of all that tech talk, let's go ahead and get into some benchmarks. So first what I'm going to do is run the task killer. on all phones, or both phones, so we can get a fair result. And then I'm going to open up Linpack, and uh, let's see how they fare with each other. There you go, the MyTouch 4G runs in about 36, the G2 32. I'm going to run this two more times so we can get a consistent score and see where we go. 40 and 26, 40, 31, let's do one more time, 35, 33, and uh, a couple more, 39, 32. So it's pretty consistent. Um, a couple of times when the test was running, um, those little pop-ups on the top kind of showed up, so that might have decreased the score a little bit. But as you can see, the, the MyTouch is capable of getting up to 40. Um, looks like the G2 is about roughly about 32. Let's see one more time for good measure. Mm, about 32, 33. So that's the Linpack score. Let's go ahead and open up Quadrant and uh, see how they both do. So again, I'm going to run the task killer. There's quadrants. And they're off. And I am aware that you can root and overclock the G2, we have not, so this is a stock G2 against a stock MyTouch 4G. And the test should be finishing up shortly. And then after this we're going to run um, FSP2D um, just to see the frames per second, or the frame rate of each phone. Okay, let's see the results for the MyTouch 4G. MyTouch 4G clocks in at 18.02. Not sure if you could see that. The G2 clocks in at 15.72. So it does look like the MyTouch is scoring higher on Quadrant than the G2. Okay, the last test is going to be the frames per second test. So let's go ahead and proceed to there. Let me open up our task killer again. Okay, and let's run it. I'm sorry, it's sideways. Let me see if I can tilt them over. There you go. So they're roughly about the same. Uh, mid-55, mid-50s, sorry. While the G2 is running a little higher. Um, let's see, G2 is about 57, the MyTouch 4G is about 55. So there you have it, that's how they both stack up with one another um, in regards to a couple benchmarks that a lot of you are well aware of. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any other tests you would like to see me run, please leave me comments and I will try to do them the best I can. Until next time, this is John with AccessoryGeeks.com reminding you, you got it from a geek.